Good afternoon to viewers, this is the Colonel speaking to you, live from the Grange of British Imperial YouTube Broadcasting. So we've got another one of the wonderful British Drama League records, this one is Dorsetshire, and it's spoken by Walter R. Baller of Blackmore Vale, wherever that might be. Here we go viewers, see what you think. So you to see, I be right about thick me zannies. The little maid a coming from the school yonder, past the barkin. Now there she be a gwine down the road, through the red gate on the left side of the way. Look see, the silly maid have a gone straight up to the threshold of the wrong house. Foolish child, what be she a thinking of? That's just where she'll most likely come across the snappy, scrimpy dunch wall better. We'd all know him well enough, don't we? Near my Thomas bends it. Well, now, he can't abide children. Won't the world chaps valley ragging tongue soon larn her not to do it again? I do know he's a proper tyrant. Look, see, ain't it true now? There she be a scooting off, poor dear soul. That's his tune for sure. Did he ever see such a sight in the world? You're to come to school, Mister, too. Just listen to the knife. Running down. Well, what do you think of the new wagon? Why, the bus thing I divine bought we is the drats. They be too crooked. And the tug irons be a putty in more than three inches to over back. And just look here now, where the rudge tie and britchin rings be. Why, nar a carter in the world can't put a hoss into him. I don't call the head and tail a put out the hand well. They be a panty new how. Why, he won't bear half a load. They've a maiden of green stuff, a shook all the pieces. The vast time he's a hailed out in the sun, he'll come all abroad. The strongest thing I to see about him is the mine pin, and he's too big behave. Then again, what did he give for they fish? Toppence a piece. La, how dear they be. Why, I wouldn't give a penny for the lot. Why, they be a pontied, and a squatted all to pieces. They won't keep till the matter. Prize a Dosset. We Dosset, though we may be homely, ain't a shame to own our place. And we've some women, not uncomely, nor a shame to show their face. We've a maid or two worth mowing. We've an ox or two worth showing. In the village at the tillage, come along, and you shall find the Dosset men don't shame their kind. If you in Dosset be a Roman and hey business at a farm, then won't you see your ale of Roman, or your cider down to warm? Won't you have brown bread a putchy, and some vinny cheese a cutchy, butter, rolls o' it, cream, white balls o' it. Won't ye have in shot your bill a geegee we a right good will? And won't ye have for every shilling, shillings worth at any shop? Though so does a chap be up to zellin' and can make a tidy swap, use em well, they'll use ye better. In good turns they won't be better. And so comely, and so warmly be the maidens. If your son took one home, then you cry, well done. If you to see our good men travel down the foot or on their knees, along the winding lanes of gravel to the market or the fears, though their hotties courts be ragged, though the men be muddy lagged, be they roughish, be they gruffish, they be sound, and they will stand be what is right we heart and hand. Friend and wife, Bathers, mothers, sisters, brothers, happy, happy be their life. But doth it, dear, then gee one a cheer. Be here, one cheer. Hip, 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 hooray! <laughs> well, that was entertaining, wasn't it, viewers? Thank you and goodbye.